Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's film. I, I guess it's not an original. They bought the IP. So I guess it's Netflix presents Green Snake, but it's actually called White Snake 2, except the I guess the English version of the title is called Green Snake. So if you're confused, maybe you've seen the prequel or you didn't know there's a prequel. There's a lot to talk about here, guys. So let me know in the comments below. Have you heard of this? Did you enjoy it? Or are you excited to see it? Let's jump in. While trying to free her sister from Fei Hai's clutches, our protagonist winds up in a dystopian city and meets a mysterious man who can't recall his past life. If you've seen a film called Neza Reborn, you would have seen one of the post credit scenes which kind of links to this film, Green Snake or White Snake 2. I don't know why they changed the titles. Netflix has made a mistake here. This is a sequel to White Snake 1 and it isn't well, at least in the in the UK Netflix, it isn't on that batch of films. I looked extensively, searched, trying to look under various names. It isn't there. So if you're watching this film and you feel like you're a bit out of place, there are things that you think you should know. There's a whole big, I guess, action sequence at the beginning where we see Fei Hai fighting against the two sisters. We have that big climatic battle where we see our protagonist end up in a world that's not quite purgatory but it's not quite earth it's it, the in-between place where you haven't let go of some of the emotions or things that you need to let go at the same time Fei Hai wants the creatures and the demons and the people to kind of let go of everything that they're holding on to the majority of the film is set in this place and I have to say it's a very immersive world it feels like people and demons and monsters or whatever type of creature have been living in this shaping world because I say shaping it kind of shifts and changes daily, hourly. There is a lot to take on when you're watching this film. There's a lot of information that's kind of flying at you. And it's a fastly paced film as well. For the first hour, it kind of doesn't let up the action. You're going from one action set piece to another consistently. There's barely any downtime. So when you do get the downtime, it's very abrupt. There's like a 25 minute kind of talky bit, kind of giving us some backstory. And everything is shown in its 3D art with the various showcases for what they kind of can do and it looks very beautiful the people once again do feel a bit porcelain if you've seen Neza Reborn and I'll chuck up a link to the review there that I've done for that the same sort of style because it's the same animation studio although this is not a sequel to Neza Reborn it is in the same universe you're dealing with various gods you'll see certain characters that you recognize if you've seen the first film you'll definitely recognize a few but the story here is about redemption and revenge our protagonist is trying to escape where she is and kind of stop the high from what he has done at the beginning of the film and that is the majority of the arc but in amongst that she finds someone to kind of go through this journey with but I think the showcase for this film is definitely the creatures you see within. Every creature has some unique identifier about them. They seem to all have unique personalities as well. You have fighting factions that are trying to uh, vie for the power in this world. Who's going to be the strongest and take care of it or take care of everybody else in it and have the power. And you have really interesting, different, weird designs, all of which come with a very interesting costume design, very heavily steeped in culture and lore. It screams adventure very exciting to watch you know you have these very vibrant colors the score is a mix of it seems like orchestra but then like hard rock uh, just electric kind of sound tunes that kind of meld in together depending on the action set piece that you're going through it didn't ever really engage me emotionally that much there were moments I thought I saw myself kind of being drawn into what the characters were going on but for the most part I really just enjoyed the adventure that was on screen Neza Reborn had me more emotionally engaged and I I was very happy to see that we do have some bike scenes again because Nessa is like heavily with like bike foo I guess I called it in that review you have a little bit of that as so kind of I guess a nod to what's happening in the city like biker mice from Mars and that's an old callback I enjoyed the fighting as well there's some camera techniques like where the camera follows weird angles throughout the action when someone is doing a parkour movement uh, in amongst using martial arts and magics and weaponry all of 
of that is combined very nicely, but the camera is all over the place, but you also get to see what is happening. It accentuates the action rather than take away from what's going on in screen. It's a very fun film to watch, but I was a little bit miffed. The fact that I haven't seen the original first film because I didn't know there was a first film. Netflix put this out like it's a an original first film, but this is actually a sequel. So if you feel like you're missing something, that's probably because you are. There are also two post credit scenes, uh, end credit scenes, which I'll talk about in a separate video. I had to do some research to find out what was going on there. I kind of had an idea. So if you want to know about those, look out for my separate video. I'm going to give this four Nicolas Cage's out of five, despite feeling displaced of not knowing what's going on and a plethora of information of characters and world building that the film is throwing at you. It's a very enjoyable adventure and I could see people, you know, just chucking this on now and again to enjoy the action sequences alone. Even if you're not like massively engaged emotionally with what's going on screen, I think you'll be engaged with the adventure that's happening. So let me know your thoughts below. Thanks so much for watching this. I think it's definitely one to watch if you love animated movies, even if it's 3D. I think the 3D works well. Worth a watch. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.